Hi everybody, this is Mitzi with Mitz Adventures. This is day three of VEDA. And how's everybody doing? I hope you're all healthy still and happy. And uh, I'm doing okay. Let me fix this. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, I was going to go try to go live because I've never done the live feed before. And someone said, no, you don't have to have a thousand people. But when I tried to do it, it said, nope, you have to have a thousand subscribers. <laughs> so it's going to be a while before I go live. I've only got like 152, which is good. You know, I'm happy with that. But I wish I could have gone live. I wanted to test it out. But say la vie, you know. So uh, there's uh, nothing new going on today. I'm sitting in my little old home, sitting at the park and enjoying life and just uh, taking a break. I had a job offer today um, from one of the temp services in town and as bad as I need the money, I told them I'm gonna have to turn it down because it was for 10 hour shifts and I'm pretty sure I couldn't have handled it. But um, I said, please keep me in mind, you know, if it was only a, a short term job, I, I would have taken it for a 10-hour shift, but this was long-term temp to perm, so uh, it would have been steady every week, and every week is just, for a month even, is going to be rough on me if it's 10-hour shifts. So I didn't want to end up not being able to handle it and then have a bad reputation with the temp service or with Amazon, which is who I would have been working for. Uh, customer service, not running around or anything, but still it's 10 hours, 10 and a half if you count the half hour for lunch. So, and the hours were kind of odd too, but I, I told them I'd do any hours and it's true, I'll do any hours. I don't have any plans, you know, but yeah, that's just a little too much, a little too much. So, the good news is uh, people are hiring the other thing that makes me a little nervous is going in and working somewhere with all this uh, virus stuff going on. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, is it? Not sure. For an old older person, it's supposed to be more dangerous. And uh, I don't know. But uh, I'll probably take it if they offer me the right position anyway. Because I really don't think I'm going to get it. So I don't get sick, you know. <laughs> But I'm still going to take precautions and do what they tell me to do. So let us see how it goes. Um, let's see. For day three, I'll give you a little uh, clue as to one thing that I want to do uh, when I get my build finished. Which, who knows when that would be. But uh, my daughter, she knows how strange I am and quirky my taste is. And she's artistic. So this is not her taste. This is something she did specifically for me because she knows that I have quirky taste. Where's the bottom of it? Hold on a second. Okay. Are you back? Um, she made me a lamp. And this was probably, golly, seven or eight years ago. And... Uh, because she knows I have uh, eclectic taste. Yeah, I'm just weird, quirky taste. <coughs> so what she did <clears throat> was she made me a peacock lamp. I'm going to show it to you. It's a, a, I guess a wine bottle. I don't know what she made it from. And she painted a peacock on it. Is that the coolest thing? I was so impressed. I loved it. Isn't that cool? And it's got, inside of it is uh, those little lights. So it's got two plugs. It's got a, it's got a plug for the light light up here that you plug in. And then it also has a plug coming out of this little hole for the little lights inside that light up. And uh, to top it off, to make it totally cool for Mitzi, she made the lamp shade, and this is the lamp shade. Wait a minute. 
Is that cool or what? So the lampshade goes on it. And we got ourselves a quirky little lamp. I love it. <laughs> so my plan is to, um, well, let's see if I can do this. Um, my counter there. Of course, I'm, I've got work to do with the counter, but what I'm wanting to do is in the back somewhere, I want to carve a circle just wide enough to where there's a little bit of an indent to where the, let's see if I can get this back up here right, to where the base of the lamp can kind of fit in and be a little bit more... Um, solid and I may even just glue it down I don't know it is glass but it's heavy duty glass you know and uh, I want it to be a permanent fixture so it's gonna go there somewhere the other thing I have I don't know that I need two lamps in this little space but my neighbor had this beautiful um, I forget what you call these like a Victorian shade and I thought he was going to give me the base, because that made the whole thing. The base was like, looked like brass, the old-fashioned little tall, skinny brass design thing. But isn't that pretty? I said, what are you going to do with it? And he didn't know. And I said, well, I'll take it. I'll put it on the other side. Or maybe I'll take turns with him and have one up for a while. And the, I don't know. So I'm still kind of a pack rack, and I shouldn't be for this little space, but... Uh, I thought that was kind of cool. So I'm going to do something with that. Maybe I'll turn it into a uh, chandelier <laughs> over my bed so nobody bangs into it. <laughs> That's an idea. Wouldn't that be cute? Have it right about here? <laughs> I don't know. Tell me what you think. Other thing I could do is try to sell it, I guess, but I don't want to sell it. I want to use it. But I, I'm, I've, I've got to ask him if he has the base still, because that makes the the whole, um, that's the whole, you know, picture. That's what makes it cool looking. Anyway, so that's one of the things I want to do. Um... Anything else that I want to do? That, well, I still want to take out some of these uh, built-ins so that I have more storage. God, I could put all my clothes if I just gutted one little spot. <clears throat> and I could definitely, if not that, oh, I'll tell you something else. I plan on getting rid of my, this thing. Um... It served its purpose, but it's already getting uh, stretched out or something to where it doesn't want to close right. And I suppose that's because of weight that's been sitting on top of it, and it's uh, made it to where it doesn't want to close tight. And, of course, when I'm traveling, I'll have a bungee going across the, top, the front of it. But it just doesn't look cool when it's not totally closed. Oh, what did it just say? It just told me something about recording. I don't know. I'm not out of power. Oh, well, anyway. So, uh, I may get something else to replace that. But for now, it's, it's going to stay. Okay, that's my little quick little video for today. Just in case my power is about to go out. I don't know why it would, but... Uh, I'll go ahead and end it here, and uh, hope everybody's staying safe, um, locked for life, I got your message, uh, and I will give you a call later today if I can. Um, oh, I wanted to tell, tell you one other thing, I was on a live feed, I love going to people's live feeds, that's what made me think about doing it, because uh, you get to talk to them, kind of, you know? And get an immediate answer instead of waiting to see. <clears throat> but uh, <clears throat> Paul Barker, I think is his name, the bread truck guy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Paul Barker. No, John Barker? 
Bob Barker. No, that's the. Hmm. I don't know. His. Anyway, he's he, he's got a girlfriend now, and they're so cute together. But I like uh, going to their thing. He's the bread truck guy. Everybody knows him, I think. If you don't, you can type in the bread truck guy, and you'd find him. But anyway, he was doing a live feed, and I said hi from Illinois, and he said. <laughs> He said, hi, MILF Adventures. <laughs> he called me MILF Adventures. <laughs> I said, you're about 10, 15 years too late. <laughs> anyway, I thought that was funny. Okay. <laughs> I love y'all. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Love you, Patty. Bye.